Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the Worm Factory 360 for an update. Everything's running behind lately, so I'm just doing the best that I can. I appreciate everybody continuing to be so supportive and patient with me. But um, I wanted to get in here, take a peek, see how this was getting along. And I think I want to start a new tray today. I want to try to get this bottom tray harvested, which is the one below this one. And the only way to do that is to really try to encourage the worms to move all the way up for us. So I thought we would take a peek, see how this tray is looking. And I think it looks pretty good, actually. I think this is where we fed last week. You can see all the springtails, and the springtails are usually an indication of where the worms were fed because they are breaking down the food ahead of the worms. And I can feel some of the coffee grounds that dry out a bit. Um, they have a different texture to them than the compost are a little bit more gritty. That's how you can tell that the coffee hasn't quite broken down yet when it still feels a little gritty. So I'm just going to turn this, this tray up real good. Uh, and I'm hoping if we start feeding a new tray kind of aggressively that they'll move up in a hurry so I can get working on the bottom tray to harvest because it's getting closer and closer to time that I want to start really getting my garden ready. I never get my garden planted as early as I would like, but um, I'm determined this year to get my plants put in at a reasonable time so I can get lots and lots of tomatoes and things like that this year. So. The tray doesn't have a ton of worms in any one area. They're kind of all spread throughout, but they do look healthy. The moisture in here is relatively good, all considering this system tends to run uh, on the wet side. So this to me feels quite good actually. Um, but I'm not gonna do a whole lot with this system today. It's gonna be a quick update, I think. But um, I'm going to take my empty top tray that was up here before. I always just leave an empty tray sitting on top. And you can see I, I just let the old compost and I'll sit in here because once it gets moist again, they'll re-break it down. So I really don't worry about like taking it outside and hosing it down. I don't think that's entirely necessary. So that's a personal preference if you want to do that or not. But I don't really see the point. You don't really need to. So just going to add a few handfuls of some shredded bedding. I've been really good about staying on top of my shredding lately. It's made my updates much quicker because I'm not overheating my shredder by trying to shred 100 boxes all at once. So I just wanted to um, also let you guys know, give you a friendly reminder that I always try to put a really nice description below each video. Um, I link products that I use. I link articles, Facebook groups, YouTube videos, all sorts of resources for you guys. So um, please always remember to just take a peek at the description below. There might be something that you haven't seen before, something that could be helpful to you. But I really do try to do that to help everyone. So this is my dry mix. I always link this below. It is oyster shell, neem cake, diatomaceous earth, and kelp meal. Kind of a mix of a grit source for the worms, for their gizzard, as well as some trace minerals and um, a little bit of bug control with the neem cake. So this is a nice heavy feeding today, a little bit of everything. This is some food I get from my friend. So there's like some grape stems and stuff. They don't completely break down, but I usually do let them stay in here for a while because they actually do break down more than you would think. So I'm just going to kind of spread this all across the top because I really want to encourage the worms from all angles to kind of get moving up here. So I'm trying to tear some of this slimy mess apart, but that's pretty good. Gives us a nice kind of feeding zone all the way across the top. I'm going to lightly cover this with some additional shredded bedding. few handfuls just to make sure that the fruit flies, things like that, don't find their way in. Because you know they love those banana peels especially. They will find their way 
if you aren't careful. So just gonna cover everything real well with the shredded newspaper. And just because this is a lot of dry bedding that I added up here, I am gonna moisten this down. Just sprinkle the top lightly to make sure. Somehow my camera cut off of me, but I just ended up sprinkling the top with some um, additional water so that it's nice and moist and the worms can move up here more easily. And then I sprinkled just a hair of my dry mix across the top as well. So I'm gonna pop the lid back on this and we will leave it for a week, see if they move up to this new tray. And hopefully in a week or two, we can think about harvesting our bottom tray. So let me know what you think, guys. Drop your comments below, like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update. Have a great day.